What's up guys? Today we are going to be reviewing the Point Zero kit, airbrush kit. And we've got this little guy here, this one with the bigger one. They're both kind of the same setup. Have a little trigger adjustment back here in the back, but that's about it. They're just gravity fed. Uh, they've got three different connections here. I think it's a Point Three needle or Point Four needle, one of the two. It's got a really good trigger. Feels really good, feels heavy. Feels heavy duty, very solidly constructed. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Comes with a, both of these, including this airbrush right here. So I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit of what they can do. I've got some red paint here. I'm gonna be putting some in each one of them and just kind of showing you. Uh, let's split this thing into three just so you guys can see each one and uh, kind of what it does. So we're gonna be using the basic airbrush right now. Now the compressor doesn't really matter. I mean, let me tell you about the compressor real quick and I said this in the in the unboxing. The compressor itself is is actually pretty good. My last budget compressor, I had a lot of trouble adjusting the PSI. It was a it was really stiff. This one's super easy. And it compresses there. That's basically what it does. Like and I mean, I've only had it for a couple days so I can't say it lasts for a long time or anything like that, but it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's doing its job. So um, I'll just show you guys a picture of that entire thing right here. It's the, the compressor's gray and stuff, but all that really matters uh, to a lot of people is the airbrush. <laughs> so we're just going to do some lines here with the regular one with the big bowl. Got a little bit big. See how little of detail we can get. So that's pretty cool. All right, we'll do a couple shapes and color them in. It's an acrylic paint, so I may have to go wash this out here soon. Oh, there we go. There's some thickness. We'll do one more. Let's just try to do like a... All 
Not bad. Got a little bit of an explosion there. Oh. I don't know. Pretty good. Pretty good airbrush. And I'm not no expert on airbrushes, by the way. I'm a fairly uh, new beginner at airbrushing. So not the best airbrusher in the world. So this is a this is a budget kit. It's definitely good for beginners. It's a decent, decent. And I've already been through like four different airbrushes. So I mean, I can at least tell you what's a good beginner airbrush. All right, let's move on to the little cup. Okay, here's the little cup one. Kind of trying to do about the same things. So this probably has a smaller needle in it. I would think it definitely looks like it. It might be, might even be smaller than a point three. Maybe that's why it's got such a smaller um, bowl to it for detail. So, I was going to go from small to big here, um, but then I decided not to, so let me try that again. So here's barely pulled back. And again, I'm left-handed and I'm doing this with my right, so sorry. A little bit more. A little bit more. And all the way. So definitely you can see up there, the one that's open all the way. You can see up here the one that's open all the way, compared to the one here that's open all the way. It's a little bit smaller, so it's got to be like a, that one's probably like a .4, this one's probably like a .3. Let's do the... got to see how it stops. Not bad. All the way open, we'll do the airbrush all the way open. It's got to be a, a very small needle. It's already clogged. It's a very, very, very small needle. Not hard to get un unclogged. I was thinking it was already out of paint, but it's not. So there's the airbrush. We'll do some square and triangle.
Now I know I'm using acrylic, but I'm using very watered down acrylic. Not a huge fan of how quick this thing clogs. Because I can already feel it putting out less and less paint. So I can see it too. Kinda sucks in that department. Alright, let's do the star. And, but I'm going to release it. I'm going to pull the trigger back more and more as I go around. Very comparable. Difference was the bigger one. Pretty sure being a bigger needle didn't clog once. This thing clogged like two or three times. And, it, and I put very, very watered down acrylic in here. This is going onto cork board, so it's soaking in and it makes it look more expanded than it is. All right, onto the last one. This is the one that you want to use when you're painting. I'm probably not going to do the same things because that's not what this is for. This is for big projects. I need a lot of paint coverage. You want to do lines and stuff and stars and X's and all that jazz. Use those other ones. This one's more of a main event thing. And I instantly seen the difference whenever I did chrome uh, with the little one comparatively to the bigger one. A uh, huge difference. One of the good things is what I didn't have to hang it on anything. It just It just sits. you set it down I dig that I do I don't have to worry about setting it in a cradle remember this one uh, doesn't have a paint release except for right here so this goes back and forth in order to release more paint or something so you have to stop so it's just a button that you push here that pulls the air from the air pulls from here to here creates a vacuum sucking the paint out see the paint just it doesn't even screw in it literally just pops right in there but as it's going it's it's got suction there's a little hole right here in the top so the air can go into here and then it gets sucked suctioned out there all right here we go so like stencil work big work full coverage you need one of these Really talented you could go. This and adjust it on the fly. Make it smaller. There we go. I've got a smaller screen coming out. This thing is literally just a full coverage. I mean, full coverage. Like we'll take all this existing and let's just
You can't get this fast of coverage with a regular airbrush. Fast and even. Just two of these. I mean, that's a pretty big board. It's pretty good stuff. Anyways, that is the budget kit I got from Amazon with the three different airbrushes to it. You guys can see the different ones. Like I, I am not um, an experienced airbrusher. Just getting into it for the first time with my uh, cosplay stuff. Loving every minute of it. And I suggest anybody out there that's doing cosplay, get you an airbrush and start learning it. Uh, this is more of a review from a beginner, a beginner's look at this budget kit, and I've quite quite enjoyed it. I think that it's a a very a very good beginner airbrush to get you started in multiple different types of brushes because you need these, you really do. And I had the a best, and I I still have the a best. Uh, it's a really really good airbrush that has a PSI adjustment on the airbrush itself. And I love that airbrush, and I was using that for everything. And every now and then, your finger starts hurt, hurting because you're you're constantly refilling the bowl and going as much as you can, refill the bowl again, go as much as you can. And with this, you don't pull back on it or anything. It's just a button. You can use uh, the inside of here. So any big projects that you need to put a lot of uh, paint on, this is awesome. You can set your own PSI so you're not going to get blown away like with spray paint. You can use different paints like acrylic so you don't have to wait, you know, four or five days for spray paint to dry so you can tape it up and such. Uh, it's just there's so many advancements, advantages to having something like this and then having the smaller. Uh, I think it's a 0.3 needle on the, on the small cup airbrush. Um, having that for your details, you've seen how decent of details it did. And I'm, I'm left-handed. I was doing all this primarily with the right hand and just how much, how easy of control you have, because I'm not that good with my right hand. You know, uh, I finger pick on the guitar. So I have a little bit, probably a little bit more control of my opposite hand than a lot of other people, but I, I did fairly okay with it. I mean, the lines were squawkly just like, uh, they would be doing the opposite hand. Uh, but it, it was very, very easy to control. Um, and then the other one has a pretty, a pretty big bucket, a uh, pretty big bowl. And it does a fantastic job. It really does. Anyways, my name is Bryce Michael. I see. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys later. Have a good one.